Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our online learning. Today on ICT, we're going to learn how to use PowerPoint presentation. Basically, we're talking about introduction to Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, but before we go further in this lesson, I'd like to quickly give us the learning objective, what you are expected to be able to do at the end of this lesson. At the end of this lesson, pupils are expected to be able to explain the uses of Microsoft PowerPoint. They are expected to be able to launch Microsoft PowerPoint application. At the end of this class, you are also expected to be able to create simple presentation in Microsoft PowerPoint. But basically, today is going to be an introductory class. So, um, another thing I like to say is for us to have an interactive class, or better still, um, a hands-on session, you would need to um, get a computer system that has Microsoft PowerPoint installed on it. Well, for today's class, you might not need to use your computer system. You could just watch this video. But after this class, um, you will be expected to get your computer system ready for the next class. OK, so what is Microsoft PowerPoint? Microsoft PowerPoint is a Microsoft Office application used for presentation. PowerPoint combines graphics, that is, images and text. It combines sound. It combines motion and motionless images, that is, videos, to communicate to a large audience. PowerPoint application also brings information in colorful presentation to a large audience. We refer to the pages in PowerPoint as slides, just like in Microsoft Word pages, documents are referred to pages. But instead of saying page one, page two in Microsoft PowerPoint, we say slides, slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four. Now. Um, um, uses of PowerPoint. PowerPoint can be used in schools for training or for or in a gathering that would need people to see illustrations. So you can use PowerPoint in class to do trainings, to do presentation and all. Now PowerPoint is used in churches to display Bible verses, lyrics, announcements and advertisements. Although so many churches use other softwares for their presentation but these softwares are similar to powerpoint they are also um, um, presentation application and they have slides as well just like powerpoint powerpoint is used in workshops and training basically although they are like i said the alternative software that works you know just like powerpoint like tap slide um, Google Slides and so many other. But in this class, we are talking about PowerPoints, how to launch Microsoft PowerPoint application. In this part, you might need to practice or you will need to practice this on your computer system. So what you do is um, you follow the steps below to launch Microsoft PowerPoint. The step one is you locate the start button of your computer or better still, you locate the Windows key. You can always find the Windows key on your keyboard or the top, sorry, the bottom left of your screen. Just click the Windows or the Start button or press the key on your keyboard. It would pop up a, um, it will pop up a box that would contain all programs. Locate and left click all programs. Alternatively, you can just type PowerPoint and then it will bring the PowerPoint application, then select the PowerPoint, it will open PowerPoint application for you. Another way is to locate and left click all programs. From all programs, you locate and left click Microsoft Office. Then the next thing is you locate and left click Microsoft PowerPoint. To create a presentation, we must learn to use different layouts that comes with slides. In PowerPoint, there are different layouts. The first layout in a PowerPoint presentation is called the title slide. The title slide has um, as a place for um, your 
title it has a place where you can type the title of your presentation and the sub title aside the title slide it has title and content for that title and content you can use it to list like types of um, types of presentation application can be the title then the content can be powerpoint next one tab slide next one google slide and all you can use that to list another one can be content and images so there are different layouts that we can use in microsoft powerpoint but by the time we start the practical class in our next lesson you are going to see how to use these features in microsoft powerpoint so I'd like you to get these things ready for our next class. You need a computer system that has Microsoft PowerPoint installed on it. If you don't have a computer system with Microsoft PowerPoint, please get PowerPoint installed on your computer system before our next class. You might not be able to download Microsoft PowerPoint, but you can get it from um, software vendors. Uh, computer village or you can get in touch with your ICT personnel to get your PowerPoint software installed on your computer system. So I hope you have learned um, a lot in this class. In the next class, we are going to take the class to the next level. Thanks, everybody. See you in the next class. Bye.